Hi guys, welcome to Miss Angie's Kitchen again. Um, today we're going to be making some easy mac and cheese. And these are the ingredients that we're going to use today. I have milk. In my family, again, we drink almond milk because um, some of the members of the family can't have lactose. And lactose is an ingredient that's in regular milk. So we drink almond milk. Um, you're gonna need two cups of macaroni noodles. You're gonna need one tablespoon of butter. We're gonna use a quarter teaspoon of salt in the beginning in our milk. And you can also use some pepper later on when you're seasoning it at the end if you like pepper. Um, and some cheese. You can use any kind of cheese that you like. I happen to pick up triple cheddar cheese, so it has some cheese from Wisconsin, New York, and Vermont. So you can use regular cheddar cheese, mild, sharp, um, in a pinch. I've even used cheddar jack. Um, I've used all kinds of cheese, so it tastes really good. It's whatever you're in the mood for. All right, let's get started. All right, first, in a medium-sized pot, um, you're going to measure two and a half cups of your milk. Look at that. The milk needs to be open. It's going to be good and fresh. Okay, here we go. Oops. It's a little heavier, so you might need an adult to help you because your milk might be heavy. All right, there's one. Two, we need two and a half, so I'm just going to fill this up halfway. That looks about right. So I have two and a half cups of milk in my pan. Put my lid on my milk. Then I need a quarter teaspoon of salt. We're going to put the salt in the milk because this milk is what's going to be used to cook our pasta. If you put salt in the water or the milk that you use to cook your pasta first, then it gives it more flavor. All right, and we're probably gonna add some more salt later as well. So now I have two and a half cups of milk and a quarter teaspoon of salt in this pan, and we're gonna take it to the oven next. We're gonna turn it on high and wait for it to come to a boil. Okay, so while we wait for our milk to come to a boil, we're gonna measure and get the rest of our ingredients ready. So I measured out already two cups of macaroni noodles. We will also need one cup of cheese. keeping my eye on my milk there because I don't want it to boil over. So we have one cup of cheese and we need one tablespoon. Let me make sure. Yep. One tablespoon of butter. So remember on the side of our butter, we have measurements. And so each between each line is one tablespoon. So I just need one tablespoon of butter. And I'm not going to get a special container to put this in. I'm just going to go ahead and set it on the edge of my butter right there. But it's ready to go because when this is done, it comes together quick. All right, so it looks like our milk is coming to a boil. And I want to stir it because I want to make sure that we don't burn it. I'm going to turn my heat down to medium. And this is the fun part. We get to add our noodles. And you're going to want to stay close by and keep stirring because you don't want your noodles to stick and you don't want your milk to burn. And you're going to want to cook this for about 8 to 10 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 8 minutes and look at all the milk was absorbed into our noodles. Um, the word absorbed means to soak it in. So think about like a sponge when you put the sponge in the water and it pulls all the water inside, it absorbed the water. And that's what our noodles did. 
they absorbed all of the milk. So here comes the part goes quick and your macaroni and cheese is going to come together. Okay, so I let mine cook for about eight minutes. Um, every stove is different. Sometimes you might need up to 10 minutes, but check your noodles at about eight minutes because you don't want your noodles to be too mushy. They don't taste good if they're mushy. So what we're going to do next, well, there's my butter knife, is we're going to put in our tablespoon of butter while everything's still hot. And we're going to mix. You want the butter to melt. Oh, I just got noodles just flying everywhere. See how our butter is melting? Mmm, it's gonna be so good. All right, so our butter is just about melted. I'm going to add our cheese, our one cup of cheddar cheese. And I'm gonna stir it in. And if you find that your macaroni and cheese is getting a little bit dry, that's okay, because you can just add another splash of milk. All right, so I did end up having to add a little splash of milk to this. And, but as you can see, all the cheese is melted. Look at that cheesy sauce that's in there. It smells amazing. And I like to add a little black pepper. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I like to add a little bit. And I did taste it. And I think I'm just gonna add a little bit of, maybe a little pinch of salt, but you should taste it first before you add extra salt because it might be just right for you. Okay, so it's all stirred, it's all put together. I'm gonna take one last taste. Mm, that's so good, you guys. You're gonna love it. Um, some fun things that you could add to your macaroni and cheese if you don't wanna have it plain. You could add things like hot dogs. You could add things like broccoli. Um, you could add things like pepperoni, other kinds of vegetables, and you can really make it your own macaroni and cheese. So I hope you guys like it, and we'll see you in the next cooking video.